It's the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics on V103. A lot of he say, she say going on in this uh, edition of the Trending Topics. B411 on your favorite folks. So, I mean, I thought we was out of the woods. Black China, Rob. Apparently, uh, Angela's mother, Tokyo Tony, that would be Black China, went on a transphobic rant against Caitlyn Jenner for sort of, but not really coming for her daughter. Wasn't too happy about Jenner's comments during her visit to The View and let it be known. Hold up, hold up. Did I just wake up to some hot, steamy smelling tea? Did that Caitlyn Jenner A.K.A. Brucey, yeah. This because he's a man, dressing and pretending to be a woman, using vocal cords like, yeah, I, I really like, uh, get it together. All that money you got, get a vocal coach. Coach. You gonna down your son on head and say he's stupid instead of saying something encouraging, and you gonna lie and say you don't know Black China? He was walking around switching in the park with me there, you f- Call me, bitch. I got some words for your ass. Wow. There's a saying about apples and trees and trees and apples, and I'm just going to keep it moving. Equally as messy as this story coming out of, uh, I think it's coming out of Chicago. BuzzFeed found some parents who claim 50-year-old R. Kelly is holding six women against their will in what is described as a cult. According to former members, you always got to take it with a grain of salt when they say former members, of Kelly's Inner Circle, six women live in properties rented by Kelly in Chicago and Atlanta, where he controls every aspect of their lives, dictating what they eat, how they dress, when they bathe, when they sleep, and how they engage in sexual encounters that he records. Oh, man. According to uh, some of these people, if the women break any of Kelly's rules, he punishes them physically and verbally. Jim uh, Jim D. Regattis, a Chicago news reporter who broke the R. Kelly underage sex video in 202, interviewed parents of the alleged victims. They claim Kelly brainwashed their daughters in one case, allegedly showing interest in their 19-year-old daughter's music career, eventually flying her out to see his shows and luring her into a relationship with him. Parents are now fighting to bring their daughter home. I think there's something to say about the person who put the video out is continuing his conversation. I guess the same person that broke the video is now the person. Okay. Authorities have stopped by the home for numerous welfare checks, but because all of the women are of legal age and apparently consenting, cops are unable to intervene. So is they saying that the women actually live in these houses? Is that what would... Is that what... Somebody from R. Kelly's uh, public relations camp said, this is all just rumor and innuendo. People should leave him alone, stop ostracizing the man, and let him live. Let him live! I, I don't know. Man. If you're a woman and you sign up for that situation, what are we supposed to do? Oh. In any case, more details, details, v-103.com. More Big Ticket Show right now.